Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I'm back. Child, that last reading I just did, Earth Sign Energy, that one kind of, kind of got deep, okay? If it doesn't apply, let it fly, but child, that's why you got to be careful when you call yourself a divine teacher. You know, you really got to be in alignment because when you ain't in alignment, it can backfire on others. Moving on, Holy Spirit, what are the messages surrounding air sign, energy, Aquarius, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, Holy Spirit? What is it that you want us to know surrounding air sign, energy? Please and thank you messages for the air sign collective surrounding Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy. Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. What are the messages? From you through me at this time. Thank you all so much for your support of my right botanicals. Here we plant seeds to help improve the mind, body, and spirit. So let's see what seed the Holy Spirit would like to plant at this time for the Air Sign Collective. Let's go. Moon magic. Gossiping men. Don't save them. They don't want to be saved. Crazy. Okay. It's only up from here. Knowledge and foresight. Be who you want to receive from another. So there's a masculine who... He let himself be played by a karmic who really crazy, but be out here doing moon magic on this masculine and on themselves to appear in a different light. But the people around them can see that this masculine is getting got, that their life has possibly went downhill since they've been dealing with this woman. And they can see what the future is going to bring if he continues to accept this type of energy in his life. It's like his friends trying to tell him he need to leave this woman alone. That there's more purpose and value to his life than what he's currently experiencing with this partnership. That if this woman really loved him, she would act better than she do, but she don't. And they at the point where they feel like this masculine don't want to be saved. saved. He want to be low vibrational. He want to be fucked up with this karmic woman. So it's beneath them. And they about to disengage from this masculine. They about to stop being his friend because he not on their level. He's become karmic. We have, they are secretly racist. Who he may be dealing with may be in this energy. 333. Three, three. And his friends have been divinely guided to help him with this these karmic ties he's created with this person. Okay? But he don't want to listen to what they're telling him now. He been ignoring ignorance so he can remain in this romance with this karmic tie energy, okay? So they about to ignore his, dumb, his damn ignorance, okay? Because his insecurity is showing. And they don't fuck with men who rock like this, who rock with hoes that act like this. I'm telling you now, because the men that he, he used to be hanging around, because they're not going to be hanging around him like that no more, they have vibrational masculines. We have they jealous, but you blessed. That's what this hoe telling this masculine. This karmic masculine. She telling him, oh, your friends ain't really your friends. They hating on you. They really jealous of what me and you got going on. You blessed. We blessed. We might be going through some tough times right now, but 
We gonna come up out of it. They just hating on our relationship. That's what she telling this man and he eating that ass up. But she's also doing moon magic to stunt his growth because growth is in reverse to stop him from realizing the truth about her ass. And she mad. She mad that he didn't came back and told her how his homeboy's been dogging her out, saying that she ain't no good, okay? And that he needs to level up again because that's show enough what's on the bottom. Look, that's what they done told him. He need to level up again with no hesitation. There may be somebody in particular he didn't, they didn't told him that he needs to level up with. You could be that person that's listening now. Because, see, you tried to level up with this man, but he wanted to be caught up with this crazy moon magic and karmic type, okay? So after you've done all you can, you just stand. You take your hands off of it. You disengage. It's beneath you. That's what whoever I'm talking to has said now. You ain't got time. If that's the type of person he want to be with, let him. And see, that's what his friends have now had to say. That it's not you. It's this karmic masculine. And they disengaging as well. Anything else from the I be knowing Oracle Dead Holy Spirit? Wow. Conservative. I'm telling you, they disengaging from his ass. And these are people who he considered family. Okay. That's how tight he was with these gossiping men at one point. But he, he would a racist, a secretly racist, crazy, moon magic and karmic tie. And they don't want no parts, okay? So Holy Spirit, what seven of wands, they about to block this man from having a friendship with them. Clarify, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit what i'm picking up on what has been put down so far what else do we need to know here they probably didn't even try to tell him he need to go back i was about to say i did say go back because that's what i heard they've been probably trying to tell this karmic masculine that he need to go back to whoever you could be in the collective okay but he didn't want to listen and they they realized that this hoe he with jealous of you, but you blessed. That's what I'm hearing now. You in the sun. Because I just saw the page of swords. Whoever this is, he could be dating. That's blocking his growth in life. Who's halted him. Who's got him at a crossroads about many things. Because he not faring well. She could be an air sign. Clarify, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. She could be a Libra. But they, they've been trying to help him enact justice in his life, too. That's also what that could mean, and he just don't want to listen. So let's go. What else here? Death. He could be a Scorpio. These Some of these friends could be Scorpios, but they've been trying to get this man to end his connection with this karmic tie. Because she's doing magic on him. <laughs> it's like one of them know. It's like his friends know this woman doing magic on him. To balance things in her favor. To moderate things in her favor. To make him continue to partner with her. It's like, damn, we trying to tell you what she doing. Three of Pentacles. We, we, are, we are trying to come to you straight up and let you know that this woman is fucking with you spiritually and has created some sort of karmic tie and you don't even listen to us okay you think we full of shit when in actuality she's created some sort of illusion over this man's mind they think he damn crazy seven of cups with the nine of swords that's what they that's the conclusion that they've come to okay and this used to be a whole emperor king of cups who's now in the Eight of Swords, okay? That's a shame. That's a damn shame now. 
He didn't let this woman make him, he didn't allow, he has allowed this woman to help him fall from grace, 1001. He must have just experienced another significant ending because it was already bad, but something else must have happened. And he is, hold on y'all, he got better. He was, um, child. Look, they just seen something online that this man is involved in. And they done went and showed their boys, hey, you done seen, have you seen this? It's something online that has, has shown this, this group of men his friends that he didn't got in trouble or something didn't happen with this woman. Claire, look, King of Swords, because I'm telling you, these are upright, astute men who have solid foundations, happy homes, stable communities, okay? They're not understanding. Actually, one of the men is, is an emperor. These men are like Emperor King of Swords. He was the Emperor King of Cups, but he ain't on their level no more. And that's why they've been trying to talk to him because they know what he is, what he has been, what he can continue to be. Time heals all things now. That's how they was trying to handle it because this their friend, this their boy. But he might be too far gone. That's how they feel. High priestess because... This is that knowledge and foresight energy. One of his friends is spiritually gifted. One of these air sign, upright, masculine energies who they've been gossiping, they've been talking about it, but it, it, it need to be talked about. Okay, 12, 12, because see, some of these men probably pacified this King of Cups in the beginning when he was in this karmic partnership. But they're realizing how much damage has been done. And so now it's like they're trying to do some sort of intervention here. But one of these men has intuitive abilities. And they can pick up that this King of Cups may be too far gone. Like he may have already fallen from grace to a point where they can't bring him back. He has to want to bring him himself back. Fool in reverse. I'm trying to tell you, he didn't... He didn't Jumping on out there in such a way with this karmic feminine in the name of romance and moon magic that it's like no turning back. Whatever he's decided to do or whatever he's about to, to decide to do, one of these men have picked that up. That he's going to secretly, if he need to, he'll even sneak and continue to take a risk with this woman and partner with her because of what she's put on him. That shit got him fucked up. It's really didn't made him lose his mind, y'all. He don't have, he's not the same man that they knew. 1333, and they've been trying to work with him. They've been divinely guided to try to group together, come to this consensus that he needs help. And I'm telling you, she know that they he didn't tell her what they said about her. And she looking like this. He told her how they told him he need to ten of swords her ass because she ain't no good. Okay. But he's going to continue to partner with her. That's what they know now. He probably, he may have even tried to lie and tell them that he was going to give her up. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Like I said, he tried to lie and say he was going to give her up. But he's really going to continue to be in the Six of Cups, spell work or not. Because see, what one of these King of Swords in, Emperor energies know is that that spell work 
can't have that massive of an impact on your life unless you ain't in alignment. It, it, it gets to a point where it's something you doing that you shouldn't be doing, which is leaving the door open for that spiritual attack to have such a profound effect on you. 1515, see, people don't want to, to analyze that part. They want to keep saying people are spiritually attacking me. They spiritually attacking me. But at some point, it's like, okay, so what am I doing that's allowing them to have this effect on me? They can spiritually attack me all day long, but what am I doing that's allowing it to actually permeate in a negative way in my life? And then you got to question yourself. You got to self-reflect and check your own behavior. And they realizing, they've realized that his ass, because that's what I'm getting to from what I'm picking up on, that he's still going to be playing around with this woman. Two of swords. That he's not going to stop because it didn't came out in reverse. That he going to keep trying to hide the fact that he messing with her, even though she's ruining his life. And so they didn't place him up under judgment because they ain't got time. Not these type of men because they know he going to still keep sneaking around, sneaking and geeking to be with this person and be in the eight of swords. So they're going to let him have at it. Ace of Pentacles. Because see, these are these are people who I feel they just too they just too high vibrational. Okay, they trying to get him to level up again and he don't want to level up. Okay, so you know. And it's something like this. King of Cups, it's it's like he feel like he got a prize. I'm telling you now. He feel like he in the king of pentacles when he get back with this woman. And that's that moon magic. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Chariot, damn near in reverse. Justice. But that's that magic making him want to stop moving forward. It makes him stop wanting to succeed. She balances things in her favor. It's karma. It's how it's going to go if he is keep buying into it. I don't know. I, you know, that's what they saying. Like, no, shit. Don't really got time for all this shit. If, if a motherfucker want to be stupid, <laughs> I'm telling you this what these men say. Like, it, you know, this motherfucker want to keep acting dumb as hell. Let him try. Nobody got time for this because they in the Ace of Pentacles. He in the chariot in reverse. So if that's how he's choosing to balance his life, they can't they can't stop him. They can try to talk to him. They can try to counsel him. They can try to advise him. But if he's choosing to continue to not pick up the reins in his life and take responsibility for setting his life in motion, I wanted to look up what the reverse chariot meant exactly because I wanted to see how it applied to this reading. In what reference? And that's exactly what it is. He's refusing to pick up the reins and take responsibility for setting his life in the proper motion. He refuses and they know it. So they're not going to waste any more time. He going to get what he what he given. He just going to get it back. That's karma. Whether it's at a high vibration or a low vibration. Okay, they can't fuck with it though. <laughs> it, it, that's what he and he gonna be fucking with her. If he wanna go backwards, if he wanna be halted, if he wanna be in the ten of wands, they can't ten of, they can't fuck with him. They in the ten of wands with him. It's an emperor energy in particular. It's a king of swords. It's multiple men, but they're coming out as this emperor, king of swords, and this hierophant energy. And I'm telling you, he still think he on a level, y'all. He is up under some heavy illusions. King of Pentacles is falling right up under the Seven of Cups. Two of Pentacles. He's truly discombobulated. Because his life ain't 
nowhere near where this Emperor King of Swords Hierophant's lives are. He didn't, he didn't recently went through some sort of sacrifice, okay, dealing with this woman, which is why Three of Swords right behind that, which is why they tried to plead with him, advise him, but again, that's why that card came out. Don't save them. They don't want to be saved. They know he don't want to be saved. They know he want to keep messing with this person. Page of Cups. They know he's going to continue to come up with a way. 203. It was 2033. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but I called it. Okay. But I'm telling you. I just called 2044. I don't know. But I feel like he think he divinely got it to be with this woman. He feel like she his, he do, he think he, seven of pentacles in reverse, child. These reversals now. Chariot in reverse, fool in reverse, seven of pentacles in reverse. That's what type of time he on, 21, 12. And he do think this, that she is divine, but he don't realize that what he's invested in this person, 21, 21, ain't got him shit. It's like he don't see how his life is falling apart. He don't see it. And he don't want to see it. And they done trying to show him. They done trying to show him how this Page of Pentacles, Knight of Swords action has caused endings for him. They're done trying to show him that if he don't close this cycle with this karmic tie, he gonna cause more and more destruction in his life. If his ass can't see that and he wanna be fucked up, let him. That's what they saying now. Anything else, short and sweet one. Moon, I'm telling you, nine of wands. If he refusing to acknowledge why he is in this, he don't even, it's like he don't even want to, it's like he coming around them dirty. Let me tell you now what I'm getting at. He coming around these men dirty, 22, 22, acting like he in alignment, acting like he on the up and up, hair, you know, face fucked up, he ain't had no haircut, clothes dirty. Car dirtier than got a new dinner scratch in it because her ass and did something, banged it up, did some shit. I'm telling you now what I'm picking up on. They've even seen evidence where this woman may have even tried to bang him up a time or two. But he want to come around them. Look what was on the bottom, I'm telling you. But he want to come around them and act like this energy is got him shining. Like they doing it big in life and shit. He don't see himself. But they do. Mm -mm. And they turning their backs on this man. I'm telling you, they, they going in another direction. They done trying to convince him that he need to stop accepting this slick love offer that's causing all this drama, chaos, and conflict in his life. From this Queen of Wands. They they tired of telling him. Okay. So you know. Yeah, anything else. Holy Spirit. Final messages y'all. Empress. Because th look. This is what he think. He think he got a divine feminine now. He do. He think he winning. Do you hear me? She a queen of cups, queen of wands. She she was this chariot in reverse. He think he got a winner chicken dinner now. But he really in the four of pentacles, five of swords. And something just happened or is about to happen that's going to make it even worse with this five of pentacles. But he going to continue to celebrate with this woman. So these friends is planning to exit away. From this karmic ass friend who who really is in the five of cups, okay? And I'm dropping the mic. Falling behind this knight of wands energy who's out here doing spell work on him. And causing repeated, repeated towers in his life. But if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. 
take only what resonates. And they look, they know the truth about they know the truth about her. They know the truth about her now. But if it doesn't apply, y'all, let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest. And I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.